Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Beauty and Brew. Today we are going to be touring the Terrapin Brewery and also celebrating my 30th birthday. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the brewing process and some cool fun facts by our tour guide Grace, please keep watching. First and foremost, we see the Terrapin Company values right there on the wall, right in the front. So then we are graciously toured around by our lovely tour guide Grace and she's going to give us some cool fun facts and things that we need to know about the brewing process. Fun fact about the Terrapin Brewery, it was actually named after one of the Grateful Dead's album, Terrapin Station, and most of the can design is from the, the Grateful Dead artists Richard Biffle and Chris Pinkerton. And right here they have all the cool assortment of cans that are empty, shipped in pallets from the ball company that makes mason jars. Located in the tap room is this map. It shows all the different states that Terrapin has reached. It looks like most of the East Coast. And also pretty cool fun facts down below. Like the first beer was the Rye Pale Ale. And also 50% of the beer is sold in Georgia. Kind of a circle. 
That's going to sanitize, then fill them. After that, that little diagonal thing on your left is going to pop a top on. I have a lot to say about bodily versus pants. A lot of people will tell you that the best beer you can have is out of a bottle. They're wrong. The best beer you can have is off draft, obviously. Second, can, then a bottle. So, with cans and our cans in particular, we have a lining in them that prevents oxidization from happening, which is the thing that if you ever crack open a beer and it tastes like cardboard, that's called your beer is probably oxidized. Um, a lot of times you can't notice because there's so much flavor in a beer. You're never gonna have a beer that's bad enough that it kills you because it's literally rooted in bacteria growing from people leaving things out for too long. So it's just like not gonna taste good. I mean, it probably isn't great for you in the long run, but it's not going to immediately make you like, uh. So, that, your beer is gonna last a lot longer. In bottles, especially clear bottles, let in 100% of UV rays. Green bottles let in 90% of UV rays. And brown bottles let in anywhere from 75 to 80% of UV rays. And UV getting into your beer is what's gonna skunk your beer. If you ever had a skunked beer, it's awful, it's disgusting. Bottles, they get transported, they get put on this thing, they sit around, and a lot of UV gets in them, and then your beer is gonna go bad a lot quicker. Where I'm from in Georgia, they just stopped taking like recycling glass. So that's another big issue. It's harder to recycle now. And it's just a giant pain in the butt. Like the consumer, it's not great for the longevity of the consumer. It's also a giant pain in the butt to package our bottle, our uh, bottle. Basically because our bottle machine belonged to a winery in the like 60s, Sierra Nevada in the 70s, Sweetwater in the 90s, it was so graciously given to us in the early 2000s. That cans at 220 cans per minute, this guy bottles at 12 bottles per minute, and it's quarterback old, basically meaning it is too old to be doing the job that it's doing. Back to the front of the brew house to finish up our beers. Thank you for coming along with this tour of the Terrapin Brewery and celebrating my 30th birthday. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and as always, cheers.